Well, greeting, friends. Time is short, uh, but I would like to make three points with you today. Uh, number one, I would like to uh, honor uh, the people who are hosting us. Those are the citizens. The world watched six years ago when the Albanians made a very courageous decision, and you left Iraq with little more than your possessions and the clothes on your back. But you did leave with values, and those were hard work, industriousness, integrity, and you brought those with you to Albania. Uh, you immediately uh, shared your professional skills with those people in the community. Uh, you integrated uh, and honored uh, their customs and, and, and courtesies. Uh, and you even helped out uh, at a time of, of crisis and, and natural disaster. Uh, to be honest, sometimes a migrant population can be a burden on, on the region where they go. Uh, in your case, it was just the opposite. Uh, when the regime started to see the success you were having, they sent agents into the country to try to demean your efforts and, and degrade your reputation. Uh, but the Albanians quickly recognized this and asked them in no uncertain way to please leave their country and, and not come back. Point number two, my belief that our administration has blinders on uh, the idea uh, of a nuclear deal with Iran. And they could not possibly risk uh, antagonizing the regime uh, by showing favor uh, to, the, to the MEK. Now, the good news is uh, you still have plenty of friends in the Congress. Uh, you recently at Ashraf have had some very distinguished visitors, uh, senior visitors uh, in, in, in our government. Uh, and 83% uh, of the American population sees the government of Iran uh, as being bad uh, and, and unforgiving. Point number three, uh, currently uh, the nation of Iran is a complete train wreck. Currently in Iran, uh, food is on short supply. But what there is is incredibly expensive. At the same time, uh, workers and retirees are being either underpaid or, or potentially not paid at all at a time when the government is shifting monies from the central banks to pay for their weapon systems uh, and, and, and other things. As a result of all of that, fathers are, are simply hard pressed to feed their families. Uh, inflation, by comparison, in the United States and in most European countries is at about 8%. Last month, in June of 2022, inflation in Iran was at 52%. I think that uh, that, that simply cannot continue. Uh, but my encouragement to you is that it will come sooner or later. When it comes, you simply need to be ready. Iran needs you. They need the leadership of Madame Rajavi and her 10-point plan for more effective government. And as importantly, you are the answer to the prayers of 85 million of your fellow Iranians.